Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do July readings for all the zodiac signs. Now keep in mind, these are general readings as always, you know, if they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome! And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon there. That way you get all the notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. If you are returning, then thank you for being on this journey with me. Uh, also, uh, Wednesdays I go live at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come join me and a great crew to do a look in on all the Zodiac signs as well as uh, a random reading. So every Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, also, if anyone is interested in my mystery healing boxes or uh, my pendulums, give me a shout there um, and shoot me an email or you know call me directly. And uh, also, for the month of July, I will be doing a raffle. Haven't done one in a while. Um, I am going to be giving away one of my mystery healing boxes, one of my pendulums, and a half hour reading. So, to get in on the uh, raffle, all you got to do is make a donation to my channel. doesn't matter what the amount is. And that way I have your name and uh, your email. So if I pick your name, I have it. So any donation, I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. And that will be that. So this reading is going to be for Aries. Let's uh, find out what's going on with you in July 2021. Ooh. Ooh. Aries, did you find yourself a worthy opponent on the battlefield? Hmm. Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. Oh, defensiveness. We have the seven. Is that the seven? No, that's a five. Hmm. It's even worse. Get the five of swords there. I'm using the Spellcasters uh, tarot, by the way. Now, this is like one-upping somebody, winning at all costs, hitting below the belt. You know, saying things that hurt. Not that there's any truth to them, just because they wound. You know, it's a fruitless, hollow victory if anyone feels like they have to win that way by taking cheap shots. Hmm. And that's perfect for this, Aries. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with the Eight of Swords. Now, here's a self-imposed mind prison. Somebody thinking about the same thing over and over and over, getting no resolution or solution to it. It's feeling trapped by thoughts. Sometimes it also could be, you know, like being in jail or custody or something like that. You know, you're physically held back. And what's crossing the help to hinder? Man, Aries, you get the devil. Now, the devil, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. The devil could be a lot of things, you know, obsessions, addictions, illusions, codependency, you know, feeling bound and tied to a situation that never seems like it's going to end or change, you know, gambling, porn, chocolate, you name it. So, Aries, wow, <laughs> that had to start off. Because it could be a codependency here. There could be, you know, a lot of backlash due to, you know, some sort of obsession or addiction. Because in the foundation here, you get the five of pentacles. And this is somebody, you know, feeling like they're on the outs. This could be a financial pinch. But this is like feeling alone, abandoned, um, deserted. You know... Aries, it's like, you know, if you're playing with fire here, it's almost like either somebody needs to be ousted to get yourself, you know, your mind right, your thoughts. 
or this person or the situation could be keeping you from seeing the real truth or maybe like seeing something through somebody else's eyes. Now remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however it applies. Aries. You know, but this, this seems a little dangerous to me. You know, especially if you had to oust somebody and they weren't ready to go. Because what's crowning you is the King of Cups. Now here's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who takes on these properties. Now in the upright, they have this poker face, right? They come off cool as a cucumber, even keel. So get their all their emotions in check. You know, and this person could be dying inside, but they would never give the other person the satisfaction of knowing that. Especially if somebody was wounded through some sort of argument. They would never show it. Now, Aries, this could be your energy. You know, that uh, you are possessing, or it could be the other person. But that poker face, you know, putting up that facade, like everything's okay when clearly something's not okay. Now, in your recent past, Aries, you have the Emperor. Depicted as, you know, Aries or Taurus. The Emperor is, you know, the king of all kings, of course. You know, he's been around the block. He's been there. He's done that. He's got, you know, some experience here. You know, he can show you a few things. He's the one that's in control. He's the one that calls the shots. He's the one that, you know, makes the rules. But a good emperor in the upright will follow his own rules because he'll follow by example. But this is about having control. Control your own emotions. Control the situation. You know, that something doesn't get out of hand. But Aries, I think something has gone past that point. That maybe you don't have control of this anymore, no matter what this is. There's a million and one things, Aries, that can make you feel trapped. You know what I mean? Trapped at a job that you just you can't stand going to. You know, trapped in a situation where you want to move, but there's no fi you know finances. You know, those are just examples. But it makes you feel like, like it takes your power away. And Aries, if you have to stay away from someone or oust them because maybe they're toxic, you know, you do things that you normally wouldn't do, you know, then you get a, you have to take that pause. Self-love, self-respect, Aries. Now, going into your future, you get the Magician. Now, the Magician is a very powerful card, one of my favorites, number one in the Major Arcana. He has all the tools in front of him to make anything happen for himself. Affirmations, you know, better opportunities, better situations, you know, work with his magic. It might take some magic here, Aries, to break away from something. Now, how this situation is viewing you, the situation views you as a king of swords. <laughs> It's like the direct opposite here. This is, you know, the head. The, the king of cups is the heart. They're looking at you like this. Now, this person is, you know, very analytical. His emotions are in the back seat. You're not going to get a rise out of him. You know, he's all about the facts, the figures, the numbers. You know, what you can prove. And they're very, very intelligent. They usually hold some sort of stature of doctor, lawyer, successful entrepreneur. And this situation is seeing you like this. Now, Aries, you could be standing firm about maybe keeping something on the outs until it's right. But yeah, I see you not being emotional about this, you know. I know, some things, you know, words are weapons, and they wound. But in your environment, there's a lot of stuff being said. Look at the Page of Swords here. Now, usually known as a spy card. It could be an immature communication. 
<laughs> I always associate it with, you know, somebody texts you, K. Not okay. <laughs> Just K. You know, it could be something like that, that something doesn't have, a, you know, a description behind it. Yes, no. You know, short and brief. But this is also the spy card. Like, somebody could be looking at your your social media, wondering where you at, wondering, you know, who you're hanging with. It could also be like a friend of a friend, you know, says, hey, where's Aries at? You seen him? Or her? But that's in your environment. Now, I'm kind of getting the feeling, you know, that maybe people are ready to stick their nose in where it doesn't belong. That's not for everybody. But you got something going on here. And if you had to oust someone, Aries, maybe they're wondering. Like they're not taking, you know, credibility for their own actions. They're probably, you know, thinking something else, like some sort of other excuse. Now this could be, you know, them going to you, you to them. But in your hopes and in your fears, Aries, you get the seven of pentacles. Here's the investment card. You know, you give something you 100 and you stop and think, you know, is this a wise investment? Am I getting out of it what I put into it when I do this again? You know, is this friendship, partnership, you know, family member, however it applies, is this worth all the time and energy? Is it worth the battle? I'm sure the answer will be different for all you Aries out there. But you could be contemplating if you stay in something or out. If something's toxic or not. You know, if you keep on going through the same motions and it just end up bad, and, but you feel better when you're away from this person. Enough said, Aries. Think about this long and hard, Aries, before you do anything. You know, if this relationship, you know, whatever's going on here, is if it is toxic, you know what I mean, what your role in it is, what their role in it is. And if you've been in something for a while and you're invested in it, Aries, see if it's worth saving. Because your outcome card is the four of wands. Now, this is also known as the marriage card. You know, something's built on the right ground for the right reasons. It's also a card of, you know, something elevating, going to the next level. You know, dating, going exclusive, exclusive, moving together. You know how it goes. But something can move on. Or up a notch, or kick it up a notch. So, Aries. It comes down to you, you know, if you take something up a notch or if the next level is, you know, being alone. Because if you get something that's keeping you trapped in Aries, and if you're feeling trapped and you know something's no good for you, you know what to do. Whoa. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays. And um, I'll see you folks soon. Take care.